Today columns are useful for calculations when you're trying to find things like someone's age, uh, their years of service, uh, days without incident, um, days overdue, or anything where you have a date in your list where you're trying to compare that data to uh, today's date. So I'm going to show you here how we can do this in flow. Uh, so just every day at a time that we designate, it's going to get all the items from the list and then update today's date for all of those. So a pretty simple flow really, uh, just takes a little bit of work to get going here. Uh, so to show you what I'm working with, this is a test list that's just got some names, their birthdays, and then we're going to populate this today's date with the workflow, and then it's calculating that person's age in days, weeks, months, and years. So right now they're a negative value because they're just using the default date, which I think is 1899 or something. So back uh, on flow, I'm going to go to my flows. Uh, I'm going to leave this example here, and we'll just start from scratch. So create from blank. We search hundreds of connectors or triggers down here. And you can type in schedule. Okay, and that's the only one there, schedule recurrence. And we're going to say one and frequency day. And then for advanced options, we can drop down there. Uh, let's go ahead and choose our time zone. And then I'm going to skip start time because I don't care if it runs as soon as I'm done. Uh, if you don't put a start time, it will. As soon as you say create flow, run the flow for the first time. Um, so if you don't want it to run, make sure you put something in there. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to say at these hours, I want it to run at 5 AM every day. Uh, you can also say at minutes at 515 or something. And then to make sure you have it right, just check the preview down here, runs at 5 AM every day, exactly what I want. So the next step is to get the list. So we're going to say next step, add an action. And then just type in get items. OK, so SharePoint get items. Then find your site. And then the list name. So for me, this is the today column test list. Uh, and then something that's important here is if you're going to have more than 100 items on this list, we have to go into either advanced options and change the top count to something greater than 100. Um, or uh, what I would recommend is going into settings here. Just go ahead and turn on pagination so it knows to turn to the next and put in your max number that you might have there. So done. And then we're ready to start applying today's date to all of those items that we just got. So uh, to be able to do that, since we have a list of many items, we need to do new step, more, and then add an apply to each. And then for apply to each, we just have one option on dynamic content. So we'll do that. And then we're going to add an action. And that action is update item. OK, choose the SharePoint option there. And then it's going to be the same site address as before. OK, and same list as before. And then for ID, uh, you should just have one option here under Get Items ID. Uh, go ahead and put in any other required fields again, even if you're not changing them. And then uh, the one that we want to put in here for sure is today's date. Now, uh, to put today's date in, click on Expression over here on the dynamic content thing and scroll down to date and time and then click this first one UTC now and click OK. And that's it. So now basically what we've said is once every day get that list and update today's date on all of them. We're going to call this today date and create flow. So now that's going to go ahead and run and if it's successful then we should be able to go to our list uh, and see all these calculations correct. OK, so it ran successfully. You can see how many it went on there. Um, and then on the list, let's refresh. And there we go. Today's date, December 7th. And then how many days, how many weeks, months. And then all these years look reasonable. Good luck.